Hi there, it's Monday the 13th of April 2020 and first of all I just want to say happy birthday to my mum who was 21 again today. Happy birthday mum. This season is a very strange season that we're in, the Covid season as it were and it's a season where there's many bad things happening obviously and uh, one of the most upsetting for us as a fellowship has been the death of the husband of one of our members to COVID and he's being laid to rest this week and our thoughts and prayers are very much with the family this week and with all of those who have lost loved ones to this awful disease. But as well as all the terrible things that have been happening, there have been some good things happening as well and there are opportunities within this season for many of us which we might not otherwise have had. God is a God who brings life out of death. He brings good things out of bad and he works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So what are some of the good things that perhaps come out of this season? Well, we're going to look at a different one each day this week. And the first one is that this gives us an opportunity for a different pace of life. Now, for some of us, it's a more intense pace of life. The pace of life has actually increased for those perhaps who are working in NHS or in other similar fields. The actual pace of life has intensified and people are working flat out in a way that they've maybe not done before. And we thank God for everyone who's working so hard for our good during this very busy season. And we remember the words of James chapter 1 verse 3 which says that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. So there is a something even good for those who have an intensified pace of life, that there is a greater perseverance and a greater uh, determination and resilience being built into each one of them. And we bless each one of them for that. But for others of us, the pace of life has changed in the other way and it has slowed down because of the uh, lockdown. It has changed our pace of life to a more leisurely pace, to a different rhythm of life. It reminds us of the words, of course, of Psalm 23. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He makes me lie down in green pastures. For many of us, we have been made, we have been enforced to lie down, to stop, to change our pace of life. And that can be quite difficult. It can be quite, quite difficult because it's a change of pace for many of us who have been working hard and suddenly we've had to stop and change gears as it were. That's not always easy to do sometimes when you're driving. If like me you like to drive quite quickly and you're stuck beside, behind somebody who's driving slowly and you have to change your gears quite literally and change your pace. It can sometimes be quite frustrating. You want to keep going and go, go, go but you need to slow, slow, slow and so it can be frustrating. It can also be difficult because sometimes we can feel quite guilty that we are not being as productive as we normally are. And we can feel that guilt that we should be doing something. We should be busy, 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 like busy bees. But actually the Lord says, no, take this time to stop, to rest, to be productive in a different way, to be productive in your soul to let your soul prosper. It says that in Third John, that God wants our souls to prosper. And perhaps this is a time and season for our soul to prosper. Also, also, it can be a time for our garden to prosper, if you have a garden, and for your crosswords to prosper, if you have time for crosswords or jigsaws or whatever it is. Different, different activities in a different season at a more leisurely pace. And when we slow down, and we need to slow down, we, then we can be filled. Think of the marathon runners that have to slow when they come to those points where the water bottles are left out for them and the nutrient sacks that they grab. And they have to slow their pace in, in order to pick that up. And for many of us, we have to slow our pace in order for the Lord to fill us. Later on in Psalm 23, verse 5, it says, You prepare a table before me, a table of nourishment. But we have to rest and slow our pace in order for the Lord to be able to fill us. So don't feel guilty. Enjoy this different pace of life. Discover the opportunity of a different rhythm of life 
to slow and be filled and be nourished by the Lord in a fuller and richer way. God bless you. Speak to you again tomorrow.